Hey everyone, I'm uh, just going to make a quick video. This is going to be kind of the before video because today is the day that I realize that um, I'm probably going to have to shave my head today. Um, this is day 14 past my first chemo and unbelievably like clockwork, they told me about two weeks it would start to fall out and today is that day. And um, it actually started more sometime last week. I can run my hands through my hair and pull out a piece here and there. But as of yesterday, and the day kind of progressed, it got more and more obvious. Um, every time I touched my hair, I could pull out more of it. And I'm not, not just like a strand. I'm going to run my hands through. Um, I can get a strand or two, but it's like if I pull at it, I know my camera's not the best, but you can see... Um, I mean, I got about seven strands right there. So um, that sucks. And it's something that I knew was going to happen from the very first day. And there's no getting around it. But when it's actually happening, it sucks. So I had an ugly cry about it last night. Uh, Tim was sweet and trying to make me feel better, but it just sucks. Um, and like I told him and he said, I, I never knew it about you, that my hair was always my favorite feature about myself. And so when you have no control over the fact that that's going to go, it's just a big kick to the cut. So, um, I guess in an effort to not traumatize myself through the experience and continue to, you know, like pull out strands literally every time I touch my hair. Um, and I don't want to wake up with gobs of it on my pillow. And I don't want to be out in public somewhere and have it coming out. Um, I don't want to basically continue to watch it fall out. Um, literally at my own hands. So... Um, I texted Tim that I need to rip the band-aid off, and today is going to be the day that, um, it has to be shaved. So, oh my god, there's, like, tears streaming down my face. Um, yeah, it's gonna happen. Um, my sisters are all in Myrtle Beach right now. Obviously, my brother lives way in Texas, so I called my mom, and she's gonna come over today. And, um, in an odd way, I wanted her to take some pictures of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I <laughs> just, maybe to document the full experience, get the full effect. But, uh, it's not going to be easy. I know I'm going to have a cry again tonight and probably through the next couple of days. But I gotta, I feel like I need to push myself past this. That I need to, um, just stop dipping my toes in it to get used to it kind of thing and just jump in. So I can get past it because it's just another step that I had to get past. And it's just hair. I know that it doesn't define me. It's not my only beautiful feature. Um, it'll grow back. But it's just one of these parts that um, I'm not afraid of this. I just, uh, I just don't want to deal with it. So I'm making myself deal with it because that's just true Courtney fashion. You know, I just uh, don't hide from things, say some head on and barrel through. No matter how ugly it's going to be, I know I'll get up to the other side of it. So um, just keep me in your thoughts. It's going to be bad, <laughs> but eventually it'll be over and it'll just be something that happens. So wanted to update the before video. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to video anything uh, while it's happening, but I'll take some pictures and post that, and uh, it'll be the new me. You guys will see for the next uh, maybe year or so, because I don't know how long it'll even take for me to grow back like to this stage. I'm assuming it's going to be a few months. Um, and the odd thing is, too, is that I've been getting a lot of compliments on this haircut. Um, the haircut I call the necessary evil. A lot of people tell me that I look like I always had like a pixie haircut, and I, I pull it off pretty well. So that's kind of like another slap in the face. Well, people are telling you it looks cute, but it's not staying. Um, 
And then, oh, yesterday I went to the American Cancer Society puts on all over the country uh, frequently. It's called, uh, what the heck? A little brochure here. Look Good, Feel Better. And it's an awesome program. It's totally free if you're a cancer patient. And they have uh, cosmetologists or uh, what are they called? estheticians or something, women who do makeup professionally, and they run this class, and you get like this uh, this bag full of free makeup that's really nice. I mean, it was like theme brand makeup, Elizabeth Arden, Lancome, uh, Bobby Brown Foundation. I mean, I'm a grocery store and Target makeup kind of girl. I'm not buying name brand stuff, and now I have a whole bag. I mean, literally a whole big bag, I'll have to show you, full of all kinds of goodies. And they show you how to do your makeup, particularly like your eyebrows, um, when your eyelashes fall out, things like that. Just how to play up the features uh, that you've got. Uh, when your hair is gone and you can't use that to kind of add some uh, personality to your look. So that was really nice yesterday. It was about two hours long. And I met some other really nice women there. And um, I had that yesterday. And I also had my meeting with genetics. And I had my blood work done for my testing to see if I have uh, BRCA gene positive. And they're also going to test for it. Actually, I chose the more extensive test which I think is like 17 different genes they're going to test from instead of the eight that they know are directly relinked in mutations to breast cancer. So that was kind of interesting yesterday to sit with the genetic counselor and talk about how that all plays into things. So I'm kind of eager for those results. Uh, that was yesterday. And then the, yesterday evening I had the Look Good, Feel Better program and started to pull out tufts of my own hair. So it was just like a, a big cancer day in my world which was probably why it was so overwhelming. And like I told him yesterday, you know, I don't feel like I have cancer. I feel like my normal self. So it's almost like I wish that my hair started falling out on one of those days when I just felt really crappy because maybe it would not have bothered me so much. I don't know. Just speculation. Um, but that's where we're at. So I'll update later. You'll see a new me. <laughs> uh, that's going to be hard to get used to. So... Taking the kids to the zoo today. I'm going to enjoy some sunshine and enjoy my kids. And I'll keep you posted. All right. Bye.